Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me this evening. I do realize I'm a little late, um, and I really don't even know what to say about it. Um, it's kind of strange as a as a youngster, as a teenager, as somebody in my twenties. I really resisted routine in any form. I just thought routine was stodgy and boring and just something to be avoided at all costs. And I found that actually now I actually crave it. Um, I am at a total absolute loss as to how to establish some type of routine in this household um, between mom and my dog. There is no routine, and no matter how hard I'm trying to establish one, I think they're both resisting it. And, of course, here it is a few minutes before I'm ready to go live, and Mom decides she wants a snack because she didn't eat much of dinner, and the dog, of course, who doesn't normally go out for another two hours, decides she needs to go out. So I was juggling between the two of them, warming up mom's coffee or her premiere a couple different times and getting her a snack. So I do apologize for being late. Um, I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago this nice Friday evening. I can't believe the week just went by in a total flash. Um, just a little bit of craziness. I wanted to, I know I, I did a little short demo yesterday about the chalk suede tags and the celebration minis, but I wanted to elaborate on that a little bit because they are just, both of them in them, each and of themselves are great little products and I wanted to show you a little bit more about them. Did I mention that I dropped my, my jars of ink all over the kitchen just as I was ready to go live? Yes, I had. I had three ounce jars of ink rolling all over the place in all different directions, so I had to go scoop them up real quick. Like I said, just total craziness, but look at a luxury. I poured myself an iced tea in my little Yeti cup to keep it cold because I decided I deserve it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get started with this. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, Drop them in the comments, say hello, let me know where you're viewing from. I used a few pieces from this yesterday once to test out um, my chalk paste on another project. And my little, um, take the long way home project on a whiteboard and base. And I think it turned out pretty good. I had some issues the, the initial time I applied the paste due to the transfer but then I fixed it after I cleaned it and pressed didn't fuzz the transfer quite as much but I tested it out using this and I do have some staining on here from my um, cranberry jam paste it is highly pigmented and I set it aside and didn't clean it for a while so I do have staining but the staining no way impacts the usability it just doesn't look as pretty as a brand new transfer um, and usually if you use a uh, chalkboard eraser on your transfers when you're cleaning them when you've used a deeper pigmented paste that'll take that off but being that I had set it aside for so long um, it did not so I'm going to cut the rest of these up and create a little bit of a couple of different tags I'm just itching to get into that rose gold chalk paste And I want to tell you a little bit more about the material of the tags. They are indeed paper. So you want to fuzz. Not quite as much as you would for regular paper. But you want to fuzz more than you would for wood. So somewhere in between wood and um, chalking on paper or mirror or glass would be the appropriate time. When you're lifting it off your fuzzing towel, it shouldn't stick a lot, but it still should have some stickiness, if that makes any sense. But I'll show you. The tags do have like a suede-like feel to them. 
They seem kind of luxurious. And they come in white and a craft color. And they come with some baker's twine for a little string to string through the hole so you could attach the packages or actually just stick it on the front of a card if you're into card making or whatever. Um, I think sometimes it's cute to have a, a card that actually has a tag on the outside of it. Kind of an interesting look. I used to do a lot of card making. Um, here's the craft color. Here's the white. They both come. There's 12 in a package. And six of them have the scalloped bottom. And six have the dovetail. So you've got two different styles to your tags and two different colors. But each, um, they either come in the, a packet of white or a packet in the craft color. Let me, I kind of got my scalloped ones mixed up in here. Let me straighten that out. Okay. And size wise, they are three by four. More three by four and a quarter. The top of the tag goes just a little bit past the four inch height. Anyway, for, first and foremost, what you need to know about the tags. I wish you could actually feel these. They truly, truly, if I close my eyes, I would think I'm rubbing my fingers over a nice suede jacket um, or a suede blazer or something like that. A nice, soft, good quality. And that's what they feel like. They are made from paper, but you do not, you do not want to wax them. It's not necessary to wax the tags before you use them. And the other cool thing about the tags is if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off and use it again. So it's reusable. Um, I've heard that if you even let the design dry on the tag, where you could rub your hand across it and it's no longer wet, that you could spritz it with water and erase it. We could actually try that tonight. Um, but know that if you're using the deeper pigmented paste like black or a cranberry jam or a candy apple red, um, it's not going to totally erase. You're going to get some staining just as you would on, the, um, on a transfer like that. But just think about it. Being able to chalk on paper and if you make an oops, being able to erase it, how cool is that? Anyway, let's see what I want to go with here first. These are such cool celebration sentiments. They're perfect for the tags. I think I'm going to go with this Oh Baby and use it as a good excuse to use my Dusky Blue new color paste. I just think this is beautiful. So let me move some of these onto the side a little bit and um, grab a fuzzing cloth. Oh, sure. Where did my fuzzy towel go? I have all but one in the wash. So it's like, okay, where did I put it? So I'm going to take this transfer off. It's a brand new transfer. Put it on my fuzzing cloth. Lift it. You could feel there's a little bit of stick. It's resistant. You know, when you go to lift it up, it's pulling up a little bit of lint, which is what we want. And it's four times. I'm thinking maybe five times. I don't want it to stick really snugly to my paper. But I don't have to be as extreme with my fuzzing as I would be with regular paper, if it makes any sense. And I think for this design, the scallop tag would be appropriate. Would, I think it would look nice, so I'm going to just place this on my tag. Oops, big time air bubble in there. Let me lift this back up. I know I'm lifting for the, from the corner and I say never to do that, right? Okay, just smooth it back down. And then I'm going to take some of my dusky blue paste and a squeegee. 
Now, the only thing is being that this is a tag and it doesn't have a lot of weight to it, I want to hold it in place with my fingers. I'm not holding the transfer in place, I'm just holding the tag so that the paper doesn't slide or scoot away from me as I'm applying the paste. Normally with like a, a frame or something a little bit heavier, you don't have to do that because the weight of the surface holds it in place. Okay. And just like anything else, I'm going to lift from the top or the bottom. Never from the corner. And actually this is a little difficult to lift, so maybe a little bit more fuzzing would have been order in order. I think I fussed it five or six times. Maybe I would go for the eight. I don't like the way they curved like that. A little bit of stretching, but I'll remedy that. I'm going to actually clean this on my surface. Spritz it with a little bit of water. The curling is why you don't want to lift from the corner. If you lift from any of the corners, you could actually stretch or distort your um, silk screen. So by lifting from the top or the bottom or the sides, you eliminate that. But you sometimes get a little curling, so after you clean it, you want to let it dry sticky side up. And that usually takes care of any curling. If it does not, once you put the backer on it, you know, once it's totally dry and you put the backer on it, then you could put a book or something heavy over it until it lays flat again. It doesn't take long, actually. The one I had yesterday, this one curled up on me and I just let it dry and it was fine. So let me clean this up, go over the back again and get rid of any lint that I deliberately applied. Yeah, this is curling quite a bit. get another wipe here. I'm using um, disinfecting wipes. You never want to use baby wipes on your transfers because baby wipes have emollients for the baby's skin and that will impact the um, stickiness on the adhesive side of your transfer and make it not sticky. So always a disinfecting wipe, never a baby wipe. Get that straightened out, flattened a little bit. And I think I just crinkled it. Nope, it's just it's just curved. Oops. So I'm gonna put this aside to dry, sticky side up, and then I'll put the backer on it once it's dry, and if I need to, I will. <laughs> buying the backer, right? I will put it under a book or something as a weight. Now it's going to take five to eight minutes to dry, more or like five minutes, just because it's not the shimmer. But isn't that a pretty blue? And of course, you know what I'm really itching to get my fingers on. It's the rolled gold. Rose gold. <laughs> And I think maybe cheers, which would be appropriate for maybe New Year's or maybe an anniversary, some type of celebration, or maybe congrats, or even best wishes. What do you think? Which one should I use the rose gold with? How about the best wishes? So I'm going to set this aside to dry. I need to pull my foil seal off the top of this. And I'm going to fuzz this a little bit more than the last one.
it's funny this piece feels a little bit stickier okay three four five six oh let's go eight wouldn't why not right okay and then when I put it apply it to the um, tag I don't really have to press down hard I want to make sure that there are no air bubbles but just pressing down light, lightly is sufficient. And again, I'm going to hold it in place while I apply my chalk paste. Oh, this rose gold is beautiful. I love the shimmers. They just add that extra little shimmer and shine that makes them so special. I was tempted to go off my transfer deliberately to show you how easy you can how easily you can remove the paste. Maybe the next one. I want to make sure I don't hit paste on my fingers. Lifting from the top. I'm going to hold it down. Oh my, look at that. Can you see the shimmer? How beautiful. And it'll start sparkling a little bit more after it dries. Oh, I think this is going to be my favorite. I'm wondering how the how the rose gold would actually look on the craft should we try it out i was at first i was afraid that it would be too close in color but maybe it would be a little interesting um i'm going to try the same transfer generally if you're careful you can get two uses out of your transfer before cleaning them oops of course, it's not lined up perfectly. Redo that. Oh goodness, it's sticking to my fingers. Okay. Clean my fingers a bit. This might look more like tone on tone because of the darkness of the craft tag, but I think it's worth a shot. See what it looks like. Check it out. If it doesn't work, I'll use the other side of the tag. How's that? And at least that way you'll know if the rose gold shows up on the craft tags or not. I love tone on tone anyway, so actually it might be nice for a back on a, a pattern or something and not necessarily the sentiment. Make sure my fingers are clean. Oops, I went off the top here. Oh, well, I'm going to have to clean that up. Okay. I like the way this looks, but I've got a smudge on the top, a smudge on the side, and a smudge at the bottom. Let me grab a paper towel and clean that up. I'm going to spritz my paper towel with a little bit of water and dampen it. Make sure my fingers are clean so I don't create any additional smudges. And come over here and just take care of the smudge at the top. And I think that's fine. It looks like it came off really nice. And I have a tiny smudge right here on the very, very edge. And then a finger smudge, I think, on the bottom here. I 
think that's going to look fine, actually, once the paper dries and it's drying very, very quickly. It is a little close in color, so probably I'm trying to get the light to hit it. Probably not the best thing on the craft paper. I think I'd stick with the rose gold on the white. But it might be interesting for a pattern because, of course, you don't have to use transfers like from the celebration with words. You could just use a design on one side and put a sentiment on the other. So that's always an idea for that. Just stuck my finger right in my rose gold. Let me clean that up. So I'm just quickly cleaning up the back of the transfer, getting all the paste out of the silk screen. I'm going to flip it over, clean the front. And then set this aside to dry. If you're not a member of my VIP group and would like to be, comment VIP below and I will send you the link where you'll be privy to specials and bundles and some games and some other things. A little bit more detail on some of the projects. If you would like to know a little bit more about the products that I'm using tonight, just leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. Okay, I'm going to set this. Let me get the back one more time here. I'm going to set this adhesive side up to dry. And let me grab the little backer. You don't want to put the backer on until the um, transfer is totally dry. As you can see, you could quickly and easily create tags for many different occasions using our chalk suede tags in combo with our celebration minis. I think our minis hit pretty much just about anything that you would need a tag or a card for, even down to a thank you. I've got to run. Mom needs um, some help. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.